Our Community Inquiry Project is based off of the organization Communities in Schools at the site of Columbia High School. The following presentation was created and designed by Alexia Green, Maggie Mitchell, and Tatiana Santiago. The county is split up into two districts, Richland School District 1 and Richland School District 2. Our practicum site this semester has been at Columbia High School, which is a school of Richland 1. Richland 1 School District has an average of 6,062 high school students. 73% of these students are African American. The racial and ethnic demographics of CHS are pretty accurate to the demographics of Richland 1, but very different than Richland County as a whole. Among Richland 1 School District students, the student body is an average of 19% white, 73% African American, and 8% listed as other or other minorities. With a recorded 2017-2018 budget of $276 million for Richland 1 County alone, each school is found within its own thriving and complex community that is unique to the families and students that make schools like CHS what they are. In all of Richland County, the median household income is $52,082. So, there are many different kinds of people who bring personality, passion, and excitement to the community around CHS and other Richland schools. Within the past few years, the demographic of the community has changed slightly, which has led to positive and negative effects on the schools within the community. But CHS is one of the schools that has recently broken records within the Richland County community, with a 2019 graduation rate of 82%. Columbia High School has a demographic of 5% Asian, 2% Hispanic, 86% African American, 4% White, and 2% listed as two or more other races, with a low diversity score, a lower allocated budget than some Richland 2 schools, and a teacher-to-student ratio of 12 to 1. Odds have historically been against CHS. But because of the incredible passion of the students and exciting community surrounding the school, Columbia High School has been and continues to be one of the best parts of Richland County community. CIS, or Communities and Schools, began in the 1960s. The organization originally would meet on a basketball court. The organization was titled Cities and Schools in 1977 when the organization began to work in schools. In 1978, the Department of Education began to provide federal funding for cities and schools on a national level. And in 1996, the name was changed to Communities and Schools in order to become more inclusive to rural areas. Today, Communities and Schools operates in 25 states and serves 1.56 million students. Site coordinators and schools help to tutor and guide students to success. The main goal of CIS is to reduce the number of dropouts and improve academic scores in low-income schools. CIS at Columbia High School is able to provide case management services to a total of 61 students, and yet the program still works to service the whole student body, which is 614 students. Jamila Green, who is the CIS site coordinator for Columbia High School, said, The purpose of the site is to provide students with the necessary supports to allow them to do well in school, whether it's academic tutoring, college and career prep, or just a warm environment to talk to someone. Traveling westbound from the city of Columbia, residents will arrive in the St. Andrews area, or commonly referred to by the community as the Broad River area. Amongst this area are many gas stations, hair services, car services, and small food joints. The housing conditions are a mix of poverty-stricken homes and middle class. One of the apartment complex closest to Columbia High School is the Farrington Apartments. Minutes away, students can visit the Richland Library or participate at the Potter's Christian Life Center. There are many health services such as Kids First Dental and Braces, as well as places for financing such as Liberty Tax. Residents may also be interested in visiting King's Hair Supply or applying to teleperformance. If grocery shopping in close proximity to Columbia High School, there is the Family Dollar and Food Lion. If residents want somewhere to visit for leisure, they can visit the Dutch Square Center, a mall located about six minutes away from the high school. 
Here, residents can enjoy a movie or go shopping. Near the mall are two locally owned shops. One is called Natural Wigs. The owner suffers from alopecia areta and opened a shop dedicated to those who may also suffer hair loss. It has been successfully running since 2005. Another locally owned shop is Sandy's Famous Hot Dogs, where they sell hot dogs, sandwiches, and even ice cream. After years of it being open, the owner established four stores. However, one near the University of South Carolina has been closed. Although the St. Andrews area is expanding slowly, it is important to note many of the stores are closing down and out of business. With that being said, most, but not all, of the locally owned stores were established by minority. That is helpful for teachers and students alike is the Richland Library of St. Andrews. The Richland Library of St. Andrews offers free internet access, which would be good for students to do their homework outside of school if they do not have internet access at home. The library is only a mile from Columbia High School, and they also provide free homework help. The residents can meet with social workers, and the social workers provide a connection and assistance for area residents to find out more about health care, housing, food, and other resources. As an educator, I would take my class on a trip to the Richmond Library for a worker to explain the different resources that the library offers. Hopefully this would interest the students in making use of the library's resources on different occasions since the library is so close to the school. High school was originally founded in 1884 inside of the Columbia Female Academy. The original building has since been demolished. It became Columbia's first public high school in 1895. The current building was built in 1975. The school was built in order to provide an equal, fair, and free education for local residents.